Sega. Alright guys, welcome to Sonic and the Secret Rings. I'm Blue, you're my audience, and this game is... It is... In fact, a game that I am playing. If you watched my vlog earlier, then you'll know that I've been playing this for a little while and that this isn't just a random pickup off the shelf game. This is a game that a friend of mine has been bothering me about forever, and this is a game I knew I would have to play after playing Black Knight. And I regret every moment of it because I've heard this game is not as good as Black Knight, and Black Knight had its up and down moments for me. Honestly, I ended up loving the game in the end. It, it was a lot of fun things, but this game is going to be weird for me. Uh, I've never done anything in this game, so let's just jump into adventure. Alright, the lost prologue. Paragraph 1, apparently. Ready? What time is it? Huh? You are the blue hedgehog. Ah, what the? D do not be alarmed. I am Shara, the genie of the ring. You know, like Aladdin in the Magic Lamp. Don't think I've read that. What? You've got to be kidding me. It's the best story of all the Arabian Nights. Or at least the second best. But that's besides the point. Please, look at this. Hey, the page is blank. Our world, the world of the Arabian Nights, is vanishing. Vanishing? But how? This is the work of an incredibly evil spirit. The Eraser Jin. Eraser Jin? Yes. He used his evil magic to become even more powerful. He could not bear to simply remain in the book any longer. And so he has begun to set the inscriptions free, absorbing the power of the book itself. The power of the book? If our world ceases to exist, then not only will those stories be silenced forever, but the Eraser Jinn will then be unleashed into your world. That definitely sounds like trouble. But what do you want me to do? I want you to stop him. You must stop the Eraser Jinn. Only you, the Blue Hedgehog, can do it. Hmm, so this guy needs someone to put him in his place, does he? I suppose I can help out with that. It might even be fun. But this is all just something out of a storybook, right? How am I supposed to do anything about that? That's easy. You are my master, having called forth the genie of the ring. As such, I am able to grant your wishes. Simple wishes, at any rate. Bringing you into the world of the Arabian Nights is within my power. What? Inside that book? Now please, place the ring on your finger. Like this? Ouch! Hey, take it easy. My apologies, O oh Master. But now the contract has been sealed. Contract? Yes. As Master of the Ring, I am now bound to protect you. Now, rub the ring. Like... like this? Oh, Master of the Ring, what is thy wish? Hachoo! Hachoo! How about a handkerchief for starters? Make that a few. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. You see... I caught this cold yesterday, and... Please, be serious. Okay, okay. Thanks for the hankies, though. Oh, please. Someone tell me that this isn't really happening. All right. 
Let's go. Take me to this world of the Arabian Nights. As you wish, Master. Quit it, will you? My name's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Very well then, Sonic. The legendary hedgehog. Here Echo effect. Into the world of the Arabian Nights. Okay. Now this is first class. Here we go. Well, I will say that I like the art. The art is very pretty. Much like Three, Black Knights in that way. Two, one, go! Tilting the Wii remote to the left and right will move you in that direction. Alright. Uh... So I have to tilt it forward and tilt left and right. So I know nothing about this game. Even less than I did about Black Knight. And I knew nothing about Black Knight. What, really? No such thing as a Just made it. Dream. Really? That was a mission? Sure, that was a mission, guys. After that long cutscene, we had a 20 second mission. I'll replay that later to get better than a bronze. Because I didn't even know how to move. Because they forgot to mention that part. Three, two, one, go! Press the two button and release to jump. Okay. Why does it send me back to the ground? the two button down and you can jump higher so to get anywhere I have to hold it down just to get okay there were not 50 rings in that map I don't care what the thing said no such thing as a just made it. okay well this is literally just Tutorialville. Let me guess, there's gonna be eight freaking tutorials. So I, it'll level me up and it'll be like, oh, now that you've leveled up, you can, whatever. I swear, if there's eight tutorials, I'm gonna be quite upset with this first episode. Why couldn't they handle all this in one level? While jumping, quickly move the Wii remote forward to perform a jump dash. Now another bronze rank, yay. Huh. No problem. No or not even a bronze rank. Wow, this is interesting. You know, I'm the least amused at this point for with all these tutorials. Only attack on ten enemies. You can just do all this in one go. This doesn't have to be individual missions that I have to load into every single different one, and these shouldn't be required to begin with. Three, A simple two, tutorial level is one, easy to make. Go. Sonic the Black Knight had it. You can do a homing attack while jumping when the lock-on mark appears. There's the symbol.
you know, you could actually pop up with the mark. Really? Okay, so this one's odd in that you have you to. You can do a homing attack while jumping. Yeah, I when got it. When the lock-on mark appears, there's the symbol. Yeah. So. Okay. No. No. Back up. So, I just failed this mission already. No, no, we're restarting Sonic. This mission Three, requires you apparently two, one, to ah. hit, kill every single enemy you on it. You can do a homing attack while jumping. And this when is the not easy appears, controls. There's the symbol. When the lock-on mark changes yeah. from green to red, move the Wii remote forward quickly. Yeah. So I have to wait for the timing for that. Got gotcha. y'all. And crappy time. Yeah, this is not the greatest controls. I complained about Black Knight's controls, because honestly, Black Knight has some wonky controls a bit. This one requires you to wait to do your jump dash. Like, I know there was a kind of wait thing, and whatever. It's different. It's not what I'm used to, and I'll have to get used to it. Three, two, one, go! Press the one button to break. Really? Press the one button to break. Come on, hurry up. And did they just time me for a breaking mission? How was I supposed to get more than a bronze on that? Alright. Paragraph 6. Great. Yay. There's going to be 8 of them, aren't there? Keep the Wii remote tilted back toward yourself to back up. Oh, so you can back up. Okay. You know, you could have given me two objectives on that. No problem. Have me back up enough and then do something else? No? You're just gonna... You're just gonna keep doing this to me? Paragraph 7 time. This episode is officially called Tutorial Island. Three, two, one. Quickly press and release the 2 button to do a small jump. Mission completed, guys. You know...
what else could they have to throw at me? What other tutorial can you throw at me now that you couldn't have combined with one of the others? Paragraph 8. Use grinding to reach the rail. Of course it is. I wonder if it's wonky. Three, two, one. You can grind on places that have squared edges. I'm confused how you're supposed to gain speed on these. I don't even know, guys. I really don't. So I leveled up now, right? I don't. I don't feel like I deserve to level up. I got more skill points. New skill obtained. Ring bonus adds additional rings to counter at game start. New world unlocked. Sand waste has been locked. At, has been added to the thing. All right. Okay. So who's this guy who's trying to make the world disappear again? You mean the Eraser Jin? Yeah, that's right. Can you take me to him? There is no need. What do you mean? He's here! What's that all about? Talk about close shapes. Maybe you know where I can get my quill sharpened too? Sonic! That's him! He's the evil spirit who is striking the words of our world from the pages. You! You must be that blue rat that just got added to the story. Don't you know anything? I'm not a rat. I'm a hedgehog. <laughs> I am a razor Jin. I am the one who shall carve up this world as I see. I'm sure. Yeah, well, if you're gonna do that, can you at least wait until I'm done reading it first? Sonic? One hundred of the one thousand and one nights have already been wiped clean. And soon, the rest shall join them, night by night. And then, with the seven world rings? Seven world rings? You have gathered the seven world rings for me. Have you not, Shara, my dear? Are you still going on about that? I told you those things don't even exist. And even if they did, I'd never give them to you. Oh, wouldn't you, though? <sighs> I suppose a suitable punishment is in order, then. Um... Look out! You know, you could have pushed her out of the way. <laughs> so, this is how judgment is dealt, is it? Hmm, this should be interesting. You listening? Bring me the seven world rings before the arrow of flame extinguishes. If you do not, huh? your life is lost. Sonic? Next. Next. I think I shall collect the life of King Sharia. <laughs> the king is the creator of the Arabian Nights and the main character of the story. With my speed, we'll just have to make sure we get to him first. So Sonic is going to die. Fantastic! <laughs> oh wait, I didn't mean to... Alright, so guys... We're 20 minutes in already. So guys, next time, let's play I Almost Said Hyrule Warriors. Sonic and the Secret Rings. We're going to be going to the Sand Oasis. And uh, I guess trying to save the here and the king, the, you know, the protagonist of this story. Or, well, not this story, but of the story. I don't know. I don't really even know one. Yeah. See you guys next time.